<laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I hosted the Oscars last night. I was fishing. I don't, what a weird thing, though. Have you ever, any of you ever hosted the Oscars before? <laughs> well, let me tell you about it. Except for the end, it was a lot of fun. It was, <laughs> went very well. We were chugging along, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it turned into one of those Maury Povich paternity test shows. Where... <laughs> it was the weirdest TV finale since Lost. <laughs> As I'm sure you've heard, La La Land was simultaneously, somehow the biggest winner and loser last night. You know it's a strange night when the word envelope is trending on Twitter. It's... In case you missed it, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, it was the 50th anniversary of Bonnie and Clyde. They played Bonnie and Clyde, so the Academy asked them to present Best Picture. This is the biggest award of the night. It's the last one they give out. So Warren and Faye come out with the envelope, and, well, here's where the story starts. And the Academy Award... For best picture. You're impossible. <laughs> Come on. La La Land. So, in retrospect now, what we know is what Warren did is he was confused, so he handed it to Faye and let her read the <laughs> one. <laughs> in other words, Clyde threw Bonnie under the bus. So, it was a slick move. A very slick move. So Faye Dunaway announces La La Land as best picture, which made sense it was the favorite to win. And the La La Land producers get up on stage, which made sense. They thought they were one. And a few of them, Jordan Horowitz, uh, Mark Platt, and Fred Berger gave speeches. <laughs> and I'm now sitting in the audience watching these speeches. The plan is for me to end the show from the audi audience in a seat next to Matt Damon, who, make, I want to make no mistake about it. whatever confusion there was about who won, Matt Damon lost. <laughs> He's a loser. I mean, he is a loser. But we're sitting there, and we notice some commotion going on. And Matt says, I think I heard the stage manager say they got the winner wrong. This is the stage manager is on. The stage manager is never on camera. It's very unusual. But so we're sitting there, and you just kind of figure, well, uh, you know, the host will go on stage and clear this up. And then I remember, oh, I'm the host. <laughs> so I guess. So I go, like, all right, well, I just walk up the stairs. <laughs> and as soon as I get up there, this happens. Guys, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, there's a mistake. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. This is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. <laughs> this is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. <laughs> Moonlight, right. Best Picture. It was kind of scary in a way. It was, that was the producer of La La Land who thought he won. He's standing there holding an Oscar that they're not going to take away from him. My first instinct was to tell him to run. <laughs> Just take that Oscar and get out, but he didn't. So now there's mass confusion. The audience is confused. The people standing around me are confused. I assume everyone at home is confused, and I'm probably supposed to do something because no one's doing anything. And then Warren Beatty steps up to explain. Hello. I... I want... Warren, what did you do? I want to tell you what happened. I opened the envelope, and it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. That's why I took such a long look at Faye and at you. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> Well, you were funny. That Thank was you very much. much. Thank yeah. you very much. Wow, this is... This um... is Moonlight, the best picture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So Moonlight was the best picture. And now, so we have the producers of two movies on stage. And who the hell even knows who is who from which movie? And I'm standing there like an idiot feeling bad for these guys, but also trying really hard not to laugh, to be honest. <laughs> And I see, now I see Denzel Washington in the front row trying to get my attention. He's gesturing and he's pointing. I don't know what he's pointing, but he yells, Barry. And I'm like, what? And he says, Barry. And eventually I figure out that Barry Jenkins, the director of Moonlight, is standing behind me. And Denzel wants me to get him to the microphone to make a speech, which, you know, made sense. Thank God Denzel was there to make sense. <laughs> so I listened to Denzel as we should. 
And I went and I got Barry, and he spoke, but for, not for very long. And then there was another quick speech, and then everyone just stood there again, kind of shell-shocked. And I ended the show. And then as, <laughs> as I walked off stage, people started speculating. People around me said, oh, did you pull a prank of some kind? And I was like, hey, no, I didn't. I did not pull a prank. This was, if I'd pulled a prank, by the way, I wouldn't have just had the wrong winner's name on the envelope. When they opened it, there would have been like a Bed Bath & Beyond coupon on the envelope. But it was not a prank. And by the way, the producers of La La Land were very gracious, which they did not have to be on stage and off. They were very nice. They had it turned the off. They handled it well. It was a very amicable custody arrangement. They didn't have, ask for visitation or anything. But so after the show, I go. I went back in the green room to talk to Warren Beatty because still nobody knows what happened. And he showed me the evidence. You know, when you do a show like this, you aren't just the host. You're also the lead detective. You <laughs> have. You're like the sheriff of the show. Warren Beatty could be in prison right now if I wanted him to. So. But the card he had said, La La Land, Emma Stone, which was weird because Emma Stone, who won Best Actress for La La Land, at that moment was in the press room doing interviews saying this. I also was holding my Best Actress in a leading role card that entire time. <laughs> so whatever story, I don't mean to start stuff, but whatever story that was, I had that card. So she said she had the card, but I was with Warren and he had the card. Well, it turns out they both had the card. For whatever reason, they have two of each card in each envelope. There's a regular envelope and a backup envelope, just to make it more confusing. And to... <laughs> so the accountants gave Warren the wrong card, and they apologized for it today. So it wasn't Warren Beatty's fault. And Faye Dunaway made quite a getaway. She got the hell out of there. She, made... she read the wrong name, and she split. She wanted no part of it. She was smart, too. And then I spent the whole rest of the night answering questions about it. It was quite an evening. It really was. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?